graduation time is upon us and I have the perfect cake for you. Whether it's a graduation for high school or college, this is a great cake. What you need to start with is a sheet cake. Now, if any of you have seen me do sheet cakes before, you know that I like to do my sheet cakes in this type of pan. Um, it's kind of like a sheet tray. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna make two books out of this one cake. So what I wanna do is just take this cake and cut it cut about a third of it off. So I'm gonna have one book here, it's gonna be a longer book, and then I'm gonna have a smaller book with these pieces right here. So just about a third, doesn't have to be exact. We're just kind of eyeballing it here. Okay, so see how I score it the first time and then cut all the way through the second time. Okay, all right, so the next step is, let me place it over here on this board. I'm gonna get this one out of the way for now. So this is gonna be our larger book. What I wanna do is cut this in half. So you can either eyeball it, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can actually just kinda of take a ruler. We are gonna cut, trim off the edges here. Um, but it's about, oh, about 11 and a half, 11 and a half inches. Um, so you could either mark it that way or I just eyeball it, cut it like this and then we can actually go ahead and take the paper off then I'll place both cakes on top of each other and then this is when I will go ahead and trim the other edges so I have my nice straight edges together here and I want to trim some of this off so I'll go straight down here, score it. It's always nice to score it the first time and then cut all the way through. So let me take this back apart. So you can either fill this if you'd like with um, any type of filling. What I recommend at this point is taking this, putting a little bit of buttercream on your board. This is just a quarter sheet board. Place the cake in the corner here. And then this is where you can go ahead and dam it if you'd like and put some kind of filling in it. I am just going to be using buttercream so that therefore I don't need to use a dam. So just put some buttercream in there, spread it out. And then I'm ready for the next layer. Okay, and then what I want to do is go ahead and cut the board the same size as the cake. Okay, we can just set this one aside for a minute and then pull the next one out. Okay, get another cake board. Okay, so this one, so let's go ahead and just cut a little piece off the edge. And what we want to do is we want a book that's going to be able to sit on this cake and not really hang over too much. So it's gonna to have to be, if you put it at an angle like this, you can measure it. It's gonna to have to be about no more than four inches wide. So for this one, we can go ahead, take the ruler at four inches. So four inches is right here. Sure. And then just cut. Okay. We can cut this edge off down here and then we can use this one as our pattern for the next cake. So take that. Okay, and then we can use this for something else. Then we want to cut this edge off also. Again, you could fill this if you'd like. Then pop this on top. And this has to come off right here also. 